Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. You've probably heard that utilities are what tie a rack together, right? Well, I agree, no matter what cutting edge modules you may have, it's the mixers, attenuverters, offsets and multiples that allow you to take full advantage of your system. Today we'll take a look at the Triple Attenuverting Mixer, or TAM, a utility module from Hamera Labs, a super clever design by my friend Dave Hamera who's an actual rocket scientist, no joke. The TAM can do pretty much anything you may need to do to control your voltages. It has three channels that can be configured via jumpers to be attenuators or attenuverters. They can also be normalized to a five volt source, so you can use them as offset generators. If you use the same signal on two separate channels, it becomes an amplifier. And any channels that have nothing patched to their outputs get summed to a mixed output with its own attenuator. All of this in a cheap, small and easy to build kit. In the box you get all of the surface mount or SMD components, as well as the hardware such as pots, jacks, headers and jumpers. You also get the single PCB where everything gets soldered, and a nice black painted aluminum panel. The pots are the knobless type that protrude through holes on the panel and are only attached to the PCB itself. As an advanced exercise, check out the schematics in the video description and try to follow Dave's clever thinking and implementation. It's not your usual op-amp mixer circuit. Building it is fairly easy, even if you have no prior SMD soldering experience. In fact, it may be a very good kit to start with before you go into other more complex SMD builds. I'm not super experienced myself, the only SMD project I've ever done before this was the ornament and crime. There are many techniques for soldering SMD components from using ovens or hot air guns to more conventional soldering iron techniques. I only have my iron, so what I generally do is tin one pad for the component I'm about to install, hold the component in place with a pair of tweezers, and reflow the solder so it holds the component in place. Then I carefully apply solder to the remaining terminal. The large electrolytic caps I could solder on without even pre-tinning any pads, since their size and weight kept them fairly steady. Just use a magnifier, thin solder, Clean the iron tip regularly with solder paste and be very careful not to lose any components. If one of these caps or resistors falls on your rug, you can pretty much kiss it goodbye. If you accidentally make bridges between terminals, say in an IC, you can use the soldering braid to remove the excess solder. Once you're done with the SMD bits, solder on the jumper headers, go ahead and place the jacks and pots, solder on the power header, attach the panel to make sure everything fits before finally soldering the hardware. Stick on the jumpers as needed. If you want this to be an audio only mixer, you may want to skip the jumpers altogether. I like mine as a versatile voltage processor as well as a mixer, so I used all of the jumpers. That's it, let's do a simple demo patch to see it in action. Okay, so let's let's do a really simple demo of the triple attenuverting mixer. I'm gonna use this little travel skiff that I made to accompany my no coast on my recent trip to California. It's very simple little skiff, but it's got what we need to do this demo. So the first thing I'll do is connect the outputs of my Pico DSP to the inputs of my output module, which is already connected to my audio interface that's recording this. Now, we're gonna plug the even VCO's sine wave into the input of my, there you go, the input of my Pico DSP, which is in delay mode. That's good, I like that. Now the thing with the even VCO is it's got a big knob for octaves and a little knob for tune, but it doesn't have a super wide range for the tuning. So it's kind of nice to use one of the triple attenuating mixer channels 
as a wide a wide ranging frequency control for the even VCO, right? But in fact, we want that to be mixed with some other modulation sources. So we're going to plug it into actually the mixed output of the triple attenuating mixer right here. And my other two channels are centered. So this will still, you know, I have all the jumpers installed. So this input right here, if I don't plug anything in there, it's five volts. So it's actually, I'm, sw I'm swinging from minus five volts to plus five volts, which is a nice 10 octave range there. Cool. So now I'm going to send my Erica Synth modulator, the sample and hold. I'm going to send that to channel two right here. So now if I tune the oscillator up a little bit and uh, it looks like it's distorting a tiny bit. So we should probably attenuate the oscillator output into the Pico DSP. Let me do that with one of my patch pals. That'll be easy. So let's just take this real quick. And now, there we go. Let's make that a little faster. There we go. So now we have that uh, sample and hold on channel two. And we have channel one as an offset. So that's already pretty cool. If I turn it all the way down, you don't hear anything anymore because the frequency is too low. That sine wave is too low. And now I'm going to put my multi-mode VCF in self-oscillation and send that low pass output, which is another sine wave. I'll send that to my input three of the triple attenuating mixer. So now that's gonna act as a frequency modulation source bipolar right so there you go we can start our little demo it'll basically be a short performance of just one sine wave oscillator being modulated by two different sources and I'm going to perform all of that using the three little knobs in the triple attenuating mixer. So there we go.
short and sweet little demo of the triple attenuverting mixer being used as a performance surface for a little FM composition here. So it's really, really nice little module, really useful. I hope you like this video. If you did, as usual, I ask you to please subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, and possibly even join our Patreon. If you give more than five bucks a month, I will add your name to this nice little roller at the end of my videos to give you credit for your contribution. So thanks again and see you next week and stay noisy.